Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino, inviting you to an episode where we shall be talking about compact flashcard images concerning this compact flashcard of this pretty totally dead Book 8088 version 2 machine. Now, about the mishap that happened here, I shall be talking in more detail in future videos and indeed I'm still waiting for the outcome to know in which way I should describe affairs. But suffice it to say, the machine no longer boots, but did boot initially. So it was not dead on arrival, it died in the meantime. Hmm? That's, that's a little bit of foreboding and not so good news. Anyway, I very swiftly directed myself towards the seller when this problem appeared, and the seller really suggested that I may flash a compact flash card image onto its CF card so that we may see is it perhaps some garbled hard drive that is causing the issue. And then my adventure really started, and for what I'm reading, this is really quite common for owners of Book 8088 when they ask for a disk image, or they really do get one. And I wanted to get into it because so far on the net I didn't really find any satisfactory answer or description of the situation. So I had told the seller, yes please, send me the image file. And what do I get? I'm getting this RAR file. And this RAR file contains BKDOS 2 gho What on earth ever that is. I first have no clue what that is, but rather swiftly I managed to Google and find out that this is a file extension of something which has been called in the past Norton Ghost. When I go to install Norton Ghost, I'm now having it as some evaluation version for 30 days. And for the full version, one would have to pay something like $70, $80, something along these lines. Not very willing to do so. Besides, modern Norton Ghost is Norton Ghost 15, and it doesn't seem to be the proper tool to handle .gho files. So, whoopsie daisy, all wrong. Then I'm reading you can maybe convert the GHO file into a VMDK disk image and then with Camu image turn it into a raw image which you can then flash onto the CF card. I did that, however it wouldn't boot. Interesting fact, you do see the files on it but just the boot code seems to be garbled. So instead I was looking around and figured out that the correct version for .gho files should be the Norton Ghost and later Symantec Ghost version 11.5, which you may find under archive.org over here at that address. And what you shall find here is some software from the year of the Lord 2006 that has been neatly collected, in particular in terms of Windows executables, one of which being ghost32.exe, which is really the one you need. And once you get ghost32exe, it doesn't need any installation, you can just double click it and then permit it to do changes on your computer. And once you have physically actually connected your compact flash card to your machine, here by way of a USB compact flash card reader, you're going to be greeted by a window like this. And you know, then you press OK. Looks like one of those classical business Java apps from the style. And then you can go to local, and then you can go to disk, and then you can go to from image. And then you see it opens here the same folder. You can select your 
ghost image, this BK DOS image. And then you're getting an offer where you would like to put it. And you see, I'm not going to put it into my operating system volume. It is certainly also grayed out and I can't. I'm also not going to put it onto NVMe storage, which would be certainly quite deadly if I want to keep the intactness of the bootability of my machine. Instead, I would be putting it on the generic mass storage class with 488 megabyte. In other words, that is my compact flash card. I would click on it and then I would select OK. And then I could now select again OK and have the whole thing flashed, which I don't intend to do right now because it takes a moment. On the other hand, what will happen? Like, oh my God. Yeah, proceed with disk restore. I'm saying yes. And that is now just going to take a moment while it is writing here to my disk. You can see it blinking. So yes, indeed, it is doing that. And here we already get a signaling of successful completion of the operation. So that is how you are flashing a Norton Ghost image onto a compact flash card from Windows 11. Stay away from any image conversions, stay away from modern Norton Ghost, go, go to archive.org, pick the Ghost 32 exit, and then let it do its magic. For me, the whole story unfortunately had no happy ending. And while I hope this information to have been useful to you, it certainly did not solve my problem and the machine still does not boot. Yeah, <laughs> on the somewhat melancholic note, I'll end the video. Thank you for joining today. I hope you found this interesting for your own endeavors. If you ever stumble across the need to perform such an operation. I hope to greet you here soon again for further technical adventures. If you like this channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you for joining today. Until we meet, have a great time. And from me, goodbye.